Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another quarterfinals match in the Rugby World Cup 2023. An absolute battle of giants today. Ireland versus the All Blacks. These two teams have had some fierce competitions in the past. Ireland topping Pool B. New Zealand only with one loss in Pool A going against France. Both teams will be looking for an enormous performance today. This one lined up to be the game of the tournament, potentially. Let's see how they get on. Sexton will get us kicked off and underway with a high ball. It is raining out there today. We'll see how much that affects the handling in this game. Ireland off to a good start, though, through Ian Henderson collecting his own ball. Dan Sheehan getting driven back, though, in the tackle. And New Zealand rush onto that ball with some very intense speed the breakdown going to be very very important today Hugo Keenan taking this ball running it a bit more diagonally just wants to kick this one clear put it down towards touch and it's a great touch finder to be fair putting New Zealand all the way back in their half first line out of the game let's see how much the rain affects this one today as they go into the air Tyke Byrne stealing the first one and Pito Mani charges this one up New Zealand defense looking a little bit out of shape early on they probably weren't expecting to be losing that line out and Kalen Dar on the charge the first big charge for Ireland as they ship all the way up into the New Zealand 22 but what a turnover oh my goodness Keith Earls on this right wing was screaming for that ball but a superb turnover in New Zealand's own 22 manages to relieve the pressure and Ireland go wanting for that one you felt like the pass probably needed to come New Zealand now on the charge. Ardi Salvea taken down there. Great tackle coming in by Andrew Porter. Oh, another superb tackle coming in. No one out on this wing, though. James Lowe cuts back inside to Will Jordan, who's still going and still going. And we know the pace this lad has. Hugo Keenan rushing to get back across for this one. Can anyone get back to him? The pace of Will Jordan is just too much. And Will Jordan will score the first try of this game from what looked like Ireland's great attacking position. This is what happens when you give this man the ball. You really have to do better. Hugo Keenan there, not great on the defensive side. Needed to be a better tackle and no one else chasing him there. Huge handoff as well. The power this guy has, considering the pace he has, is exceptional. And Will Jordan doing well to hold on to the ball in the wet weather. Richie Mowunga to see if he can turn the five into seven. An early try. We knew this game was going to be a fierce battle. Let's see how he gets on. Solid kick through the middle there for Richie Mawanga. Converts that one. New Zealand goes 7-0 in the lead. A little high five there from Sam Whitelock. Of course, a much experienced player in this team. Just trying to give him that extra confidence boost. Oh, but it's a poor take right from the restart. And suddenly Ireland will feel like potentially there's the option to get straight back into this game. Let's see how the New Zealand lineup holds out once again. Ty Byrne, once again, the man in that lineup causing New Zealand all sorts of issues with a big turnover. Johnny Sexton takes it on himself, maybe a little bit isolated, and is New Zealand wrapping him up there and getting that turnover. The kick away, though, maybe not the best. Ty Byrne stealing all those lineouts and now stealing possession back for Ireland again the breakdown situation causing all sorts of nuisance for Ireland today they just cannot steal this ball back in the breakdown New Zealand proving to be a worthy opponent here as they get the ball out to the try scorer that is Will Jordan he's done it once can he do it again he tries to go for the step round Keenan plays it a little bit smarter that time just giving him the room not rushing in good defense there by Hugo Keenan and Ireland get the turnover Tyke Byrne gets absolutely clattered in the challenge though and suddenly room opens up Keith Earls thinks he sees space down in this corner goes for the kick 50-22 is on let's see if New Zealand can get back out from this dangerous position they manage it Geordie Barrett getting the uh, the kick away there I think it was as Hugo Keenan now going on the counter-attack running diagonally across the pitch and van der Fleer on the charge James Lowe screaming for it out on this wing gets it little grubber kick on around the inside manages to collect his own ball Ireland a right up to the New Zealand five meter line Ian Henderson on the charge supported though by players New Zealand are rushing back into defence. Tyke Furlong, oh, maybe outrunning his own players there. Could have used a bit more support as Josh van der Fleer takes it up a little bit further. New Zealand are rushing now to get into this position. Dan Sheehan, can he get the pass away? Bandiaki done so well in this tournament to Keith Earls to score it in the corner. They thought they were going to be in trouble with no Mac Hansen on that wing today. Keith Earls stepping up. 
and getting his try in the corner, bringing Ireland back into this one. Josh van der Fleer with a superb charge. Congratulations to Lomax on taking that tackle. Not an easy man to stop there. Getting the ball out quickly. A great tackle coming in by Rico Iwani, who is playing on the left wing today uh, with an injury also out on that left wing to Mark Talea. So Iwani's back out on the wing. Anton Lennett Brown is at centre alongside of Geordie Barrett. Let's see how Johnny Sexton gets on in terms of his kicking. Much harder kick than Mwangas, but does manage to slot it through. Half hour into this game. Seven all. Let's see what they can do now then. Jameson Gibson Park feeling maybe the confidence behind Ireland at this point. Oh, a lovely up and under. No one take it in. Tyke Byrne will say thank you very much. The tallest player in that bunch there to take that ball back on. Ian Henderson gets a little pass to Bundyaki. Bit of a looping play around the back. Doesn't manage it. Sexton gets wrapped up in the turnover once again. Doesn't want to hold on to the ball. Giving away easy penalties. Three points may come down to be the decision deciding factor in this game. Yuwani gets a handoff and again the Irish wingers are struggling. Hugo Keenan does well to get back for that recovery tackle. Can Ireland defend this position from here? Oh, that pass, maybe not necessary. Finds himself a bit isolated. Pito Mani trying to make the charge. The flanker's doing very well for his age, but the speedster maybe not so much. James Lowe taking this one around the outside. Doesn't manage it. What a tackle coming in there by Sam Kane to be able to put James Lowe into touch again, though. Not an easy man to chase down. Good tackle by him. The ball goes out to the back and Kalen Doris steals this one and Bundyaki says yes please. Gary Ringrose in the 13 channel sees Keith Hills outside him. He's already got one. Can he run round? Back inside. <laughs> Johnny Sexton gets absolutely clattered by Rico Iwani but what a cover tackle. Had to be made. If that tackle isn't made that is a try. What do Ireland decide to do from here? It's seven all apiece. They've got the territory. Johnny Sexton says give me the kick. Give me the three points because it is utterly crucial in this game. Let's see how he gets on. This to put Ireland in the lead at half time. Manages to curl it round just enough, and Ireland take it into half time. 10 7 in the lead. What an awesome competition we have on our hands today, guys. Ireland versus New Zealand. We knew this one was going to be a fiery game. Ireland actually off to the better start. It looked for all intents and purposes that Ireland might actually get on for the first try. A couple of early charges putting New Zealand under enormous pressure, but being so focused on attack, maybe forgetting a little bit in defence. The first try of the game going to Will Jordan on a superb single effort run by one player, charging on, getting on the outside of some players and then getting another handoff, taking it over for an early try for New Zealand, converted over by Richie Mawanga to set them up in a very positive manner for this game. Ireland knew a recovery was needed very quickly into this game, and it came in the form of Keith Earls. Once again, Ireland on the big surge. This time, Josh van der Fleer taking it up, even though a great tackle comes in from Tyrell Lomax. It's not enough to stop the Irish onslaught, getting the ball out wide, and Keith Earls dotting that one down for a try. Also converted by John Johnny Sexton to draw them all level. New Zealand have also had some brilliant runs in this one. Again, getting round the outside of this Irish defence. Hugo Keenan had to step up later into this first half and has done very well in his defensive effort. And then it is Ireland who go in at halftime in the lead. A superb run down the wing. A tackle that had to be made by Rico Iwani, stopping a try uh, and maybe a little bit cynical, but followed by hands in the ruck penalty. Ireland will just take the three points and they go into the lead at halftime. Ten points to seven. Second half to get underway then. Richie Mawanga kicks this one deep. No changes at halftime to talk about. James Gibson Park tries to put the ball back down but kicks it dead. That's an early mistake for Ireland and New Zealand will try and make the most of it. Ireland didn't jump for that. They maybe thought the driving mall was coming. Not working the way they expected there. Ireland rushing into defensive mode. There's a lot of numbers out there. Oh, what a superb piece of work there. I think that was Tigburn in that ruck there, getting that turnover. Ringrose has had another terrible kick. Ireland are struggling to get out of their own half at the minute through their own mistakes. Let's see how they get on. They go out to the back. 
The ball slapped down. Gone a little bit awry for them. Bundyaki tries to straighten up a little bit. He's got Sexton outside him. Well tackled, though, by the New Zealand defender. James Lowe goes one-on-one -on -one with Bowden Barrett. Doesn't manage to get round the outside of him. They're going to drop the ball back here. Gary Ringrose thinks he sees some space. Goes for the a little bit of uh, clear room out there. Doesn't make any sort of bounce, though. Rico Iwani on the charge after a great catch. Still a slippy ball out there. The handling errors have been superb today. Both teams working very well on their handling in this game, considering the conditions. Rico Iwani with a little inside pass. Talking about handling conditions. They're throwing passes like this. New Zealand wanting to go at speed now. Oh, there's maybe a high tackle. The referee's coming over to look at it. He says he catches him high around the neck. That's Peter O'Man. He's had such a good game up till now. The ref has awarded a yellow card. It will go for the bunker review. Uh, you'd have to say mitigation. It looks like it hit his chest and slid up. It will probably stay at a yellow card. But my goodness, what a big blow to this Ireland team as they try and spread it wide. Bundyaki, oh, not a great pass out to James Lowe. And James Lowe does well to recover from there as he tries to charge down. This right-hand wing stretches himself back up into a forward momentum there. Doing well. Johnny Sexton dropping back in the pocket here. We'll just say, let's just get this down that end of the field at this point. They've got to control that man advantage as well now. New Zealand, what can they do from here? Yuani goes for a good kick right down the far end. Keith Hills, oh no! He's accidentally kicked it on a little bit further and he's just given New Zealand a superb opportunity to maybe get back into this game. What a silly mistake there that was. A little bit of a, a mistimed kick there going on. A little bit wrong for them. Ireland have to try and recover from here. Sat back on their own try line. Keith Hills just wants to get this ball clear back outside the 22. Good exit from a very terrible position there. New Zealand go for a quick line out catching Ireland off guard once again. Now they go for the driving wall. That man advantage in the forwards. Can they make it pay for them? They are driving on slowly closer towards that try line. Oh, it's held up just before the 22. And Aaron Smith says, I'll go down the inside. Maybe catching a few people off guard. Oh, <laughs> tripping into touch in the corner. That might have been one of the cleverest moves had that have come off. What a superb piece of work from them. New Zealand now trying to maybe steal this ball at the line out and do. Ireland went wild out the back. They managed to survive once again due to that breakdown situation. Bundyaki dropping back. Not really known for his kicking potential, but uh, does get a good clearance out towards that 22. Once again, this game is opening up to be something fierce. They throw the ball out to the back. That one slapped back by the Irish prop. Can they get it out? Aki taking it a little bit further on the charge. Can they get out to James Lowe? Think they see room in the backfield. Kicks it down. Bowden Barrett has to turn in the chase and run it all the way back now. Gets a good kick, though. Back downfield, splitting the defenders. Hugo Keenan rushing back for it. No, Ian Henderson's going to pick it up. Can he get this out wide? Andrew Porter to Tyke Furlong. Good hands by the props there, linking up together to get that out to Keith Hills. Good clear out in the ruck as well. What a fierce battle this one has been today. Ireland dropping it back again. Keith Earls not getting anywhere down the blind side. Thought they'd try something a little bit different. Ian Henderson taking it up for another charge. Not going anywhere there. Ireland still pop off to this left-hand side. Sexton gets a bounce pass around the outside. And Peter O'Man, he yellow carded earlier on. Back on the field. Can James Lowe do something from here? It's a grubber kick on. It's a foot race. And James Lowe's going to win it. And it's going to be a try. What a piece of play. Again, individualistic by the wingers today has maybe been the, the talking point of the game. James Lowe having to do a lot of work out on this wing. Johnny Sexton, though, with that pass, just to get it around the outside of the play. The bounce pass could have potentially gone forwards. Luckily, it didn't. Pito Manny back on the field after his yellow card, getting it out to James Lowe. A lot of work to do around Bowden Barrett. And manages to dot it down himself. What a superb job there by James Lowe. Johnny Sexton then going to set up for this one to put them potentially out of reach. If this one goes over, then New Zealand are going to have their work cut out. They're already eight points in it. It's now up to ten points. Two scores required. And Ireland bring on the subs. An all-new front row for the Irish, along with Stuart McCloskey coming on at centre. Tyke Byrne doing so well to recover that ball once again. Ronan Keller, new to the field. He's up for a good scrap in this game as they get it out to Dave Kilcoyne, to Ian Henderson, maybe not expecting that pass coming his way. Josh van der Fleer 
wants to take it himself. Well tackled, though, by the New Zealand defence. What can Ireland do from here? They've got time on their side. They just need to keep the ball in hand. Gary Ringrose trying to go through the middle. New Zealand get a turnover, potentially a late opportunity for them to grasp something back in this game. Ireland with a great tackle there. Who was that? I think that was Kelleher getting a good tackle there to shut down New Zealand. They can't work out a way to go. They go out to Will Jordan. A big up and under kick. As the ball drops down, Josh van der Fleer recovers it. The game looks to be Ireland's. What can they do from here, though? Because they've seen room out on this wing, and suddenly Keith Hills is away. Back inside to Gary Ringrose. Gets a nice little sidestep. New Zealand in desperation mode. They're not done here. Ireland want to lay down a marker for the semi-finals to show they have not come to be messed around as James Lowe once again being chased by Bowden Barrett. Can Bowden Barrett get back? Does. What a superb tackle by Bowden Barrett. Ireland on full tilt now. New Zealand have to know this game is lost and what can they do? Gary Ringrose has had a great game all day. <laughs> oh, what a tackle. I think that was Aaron Smith making that one. Absolutely brilliant work by him. Dave Kilcoyne takes it up to the line one more time. Doesn't manage it. Finley Bealham, pop pass to Connor Murray. To Keith Earls. Oh, another superb tackle. Rico Ioani once again. The defensive work working for them. New Zealand kick it on. They want this game to go on. They don't want that ball going dead. They want one more try. But it seems like so do Ireland. And suddenly McCloskey, new to the field, charging up. Going to be big ask here for the New Zealand defence. Charging through tackles and gets over for one more try. Heartbreak for New Zealand. They defended valiantly in the second half. That's where subs can come in. So useful. Stuart McCloskey hadn't even had a touch of the ball today. Came on full tilt. Really hard for Will Jordan to get back for him. Hard ask there for Bowden Barrett to make that tackle. Just bouncing through them and eventually getting over for the try. Johnny Sexton will seal out this game with one final conversion. Not that the score will matter. Ireland have already taken this one. But he slots it through anyway. 24 points to 7. An enormous victory here for Ireland from what seemed like a really positive start from this New Zealand team. But you can't count out the world number ones when they'll put in a performance like that. A muddy old wet day over here in France. But Ireland do not mind being covered in all the mud. What a superb game this one turned out to be. Ireland take this one 24 points to seven commiserations to new zealand if you've enjoyed this one today guys make sure you leave it a like and if you think this game might resemble what will happen in real life drop it down in the comment section i'll see you next time guys bye bye